in September of 2020, I noticed I started losing vision in my left eye. Um, I made an appointment with my doctor in Sault Ste. Marie, and in the beginning of November, I found out that they, there was a mass at the base of my frontal lobe, putting pressure on my optic nerve. For patients who present with vision loss, obviously they're quite distressed, right? One day you're seeing your vision is quite good and then suddenly it deteriorates. We see a number of patients with that symptom. Uh, various different tumors are usually the causes. So to be able really to reach these with the traditional way, you would need to lift the brain significantly, which we call retraction of the brain. In Michelle's case, we did not require any of that because we went through the minimal invasive approach through the nose. So going from the nose, from here will give us access. We are underneath the tumor directly without needing to lifting any part of the brain uh, here. And then we are able to work from underneath, remove the tumor without um, need to mobilize any of the optic nerve or any of the structure around it. The key people uh, on the team would be the neurosurgeon and the ear and nose specialist. In, in, in Ottawa here, in our case, it is myself and Dr. Kelty. Somewhere between eight and 10 years, we've been working together, trying to help patients with problems that we could help target with the techniques we have. So we have developed here in, uh, in Ottawa a technique where we could provide the surgeon with immediate feedback with what's happening to their optic nerve while they're doing the surgery. You can monitor something so precisely and to the second uh, and, and uh, be able to tell if there's act actual changes going on based on what you're doing intraoperatively. Uh, not a lot of areas in medicine where we, we have that uh, ability while we're doing surgery. So going into the surgery, I had no vision in my left eye. Um, looking through that eye was like looking through a frosted window. Um, I couldn't see anything except shapes and shadows. Then I went into the surgery. The next day, I woke up and my husband was there. and. Um, I looked over at him and, and I said, I can see you. And, I, and he, he said, you can what? And I said, I can see you. So as quickly as that next day, um, I had full um, vision in that eye. I was able to see him and it was a miracle. It was amazing. We've been able to build, you know, from a, essentially a local kind of uh, partnership to being regional and then, you know, even national. I would say we are one of the main leaders in Canada and in North America. And slowly over time, we started to have um, uh, inquiries from uh, potential fellows worldwide wanting to come and potentially train with us uh, to learn what we do and then take it back to their country and be able to provide some of that same service back where they, where they reside. I've been here as an observer uh, about a couple of years ago and I was astonished by the way uh, things are uh, run. The multidisciplinary teamwork, the clinics, the patient-oriented uh, treated uh, treatment is very, is very unique and attractive. How are you? Good, how are you? See here, this was the tumor and that's where is the nerve. You can't see it anymore here because it was really squeezed by the tumor. Right. Here you can see the nerve is already obvious there because the tumor is as complete. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> so the care I've received here has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, to be able to remove that tumor without causing any other damage and for me to completely have my vision restored, um, I'm just forever grateful.